everybody thinks bear trapping is easy. There's a lot that goes into getting traps put into the ground. Most of the places we use are pretty remote, so um, this site hasn't been used for I think about three years now. So we try to rotate around when we can, move through the ecosystem on the southwest portion of Montana, and catch as many bear research callers and put them out as we can. Veteran bear management specialist Jeremiah Smith and bear specialist Kyle Orozco are in the Gravely Range in the southwestern part of the state setting up bear traps. Oh, uh, we got some bear scat on the road on the way in to set the trap, so looks like a vegetation scat. Um, and contrary to popular belief, you cannot tell the difference between grizzly bear and black bear scat. That all looks the same. You can do it through some genetic stuff, but just finding scat on the road or on the ground, unless you got a track that's associated with it, you really can't tell the difference. They come in all shapes and sizes. Bear trapping occurs in July and August when the woods are quiet before the fall hunting season gets rolling. This timing reduces the likelihood of conflicts with hunters in these remote areas. As far as the gravelly mountains go, you know, they, they can do everything they need to do in here. A female can set up a home range in here and spend her entire life cruising around and not really ever be seen by anybody. So again, great research trap site and it's an important part of the process for us when it comes to grizzly bears in Montana. Our research captures play a large role in our population estimate for the southwest portion of Montana and the bears that we capture here become part of the population estimate and everything else that we do in regards to grizzly bears. So, pretty good spot, nice and quiet. Traps are monitored via a satellite and will ping the crew when a bear has been successfully trapped. So it's important that while we're research trapping, we use natural foods only. So typically a roadkill ungulates, uh, deer, elk, occasional moose or antelope. Uh, today we've got some deer quarters we'll throw in there for bait. Uh, we'll probably hang a call bait. So we got some good stinks, some fish that the fisheries guys provided from doing some sampling on Hebgen Lake. So hopefully that deer quarter in the trap will seal the deal. Quick and as easy as folks think. You don't just set a trap and catch a bear. We could get lucky and that could happen. But most of the time, this thing could be set for two or three or four days before we even see sign of a bear showing up. And um, yeah, hopefully we get something caught soon, but it's trapping. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. This past July, FWP and with partnership with the interagency Grizzly Bear Study Team, collared seven grizzlies and gravelies, including this male. For more information about bears in Montana, please visit fwp.mt.gov.